I'm Yomi Olufiade, and this is your word for the week. Ecclesiastes chapter 11, I read God's word from verse 1. The Bible said, Cast your bread upon the waters, for thou shalt find it after many days. Give a portion to seven, and also to eight, for thou knowest not what evil shall be upon the earth. If the clouds be full of rain, take note of this verse 3, if the clouds be full of rain, they empty themselves upon the earth. And if the tree fall towards the south or towards the north, in the place where the tree falleth, there it shall be. Verse 6, in the morning sow thy seed, and in the evening withhold not thy hand, for thou knowest not whether shall prosper. My admonition to you this week is this, keep seeding your cloud keep seeding your cloud the word of god says in verse 3 of this passage that we read that if the clouds be full of rain they empty themselves upon the earth when your clouds are full the rain must fall it is a necessity when your clouds are full the rain must fall now this applies to the process of faith are much more to the process of any meaningful endeavor on the face of the earth the reason why the rain of blessings the rain of benefits the kind of returns or the rewards you are seeking spiritually financially materially or on your business or in whatever endeavor you are engaged in the reason why the rains might not be falling yet is because your clouds are not yet full you see god is a god of seasons and you see when the clouds are full of water the rains necessarily has to fall because that is the way that god has programmed the earth the rain falls on the earth, the earth soaks it up, the sun comes up, evaporates the water, and the water fills up the cloud and returns to the earth as rain. So in the same way, you need to keep seeding your cloud. You need to keep making your impute. You need to keep the process of faith on. Keep speaking your faith. Keep hearing the word. Keep confessing the word. Keep maintaining your walk with God. Keep doing good. Keep the acts of good going. Keep being diligent at your duty post. Okay? The enemy will tempt you and tell you that, okay, all these years that you've been doing this, all these months, all these weeks that you have been doing this, what return have you seen? Listen to me. The Bible said, in the morning, sow your seed in the evening. Do not withhold your hand. You don't know which one will prosper. Okay? Uh, you do not know which, which swing of the axe is going to fall the tree. But you need to keep swinging until the tree falls. The Bible said here, he said, where the, in the place where the tree falls, there it shall be. Whether it falls towards the south or it falls towards the north, the fact remains that once your cloud is full, the rain must fall. I'm encouraging you today. God is sending me your way. You have been doing good. You have maintained your good character. You have protected your integrity. Okay, You have been diligent at your duty post. You have maintained your walk of faith. You have been confessed in the word you have been believing for healing you have been sowing your seed you have been tithing for long you have been giving to the poor you have been diligent at a student at your academics and you are wondering when the return when the reward is going to come god is sending me your way today by you watching this video that when your cloud is full the rain will fall and this is to encourage you Keep seeding your cloud. Your rain is about to fall. I believe that God is sending this message across your way because your season of a rainfall, a heavy rainfall is imminent. And I want to encourage you not to give up just yet. When your clouds are full, your rain will fall. Do not give up this week. I want to encourage you. Do not give up yet. This week, I want to encourage you. I want to speak a word of prophecy into your life. God is about to make the rains fall. The seasons is about to turn for you. Now is not just the time to give up yet. The rain will fall 
and your ground will be wet and the refreshing that the rain brings will permeate your life. This week, as you hold on to God in faith, I see victory becomes your testimony. I see the song of victory filling your mouth and God is filling your hearts with laughter. Everyone that hear your story, they will return to come rejoice with you. God bless you and have a fruitful, victorious week in the name of Jesus. God bless you and bye for now. Thank you.